it's been a minute since we have talked about Black Ops 6. Yes, people are breaked up. Yes, people are doing backflips about this game. And a lot of people are saying that, hey, this is gonna be the game that shapes Call of Duty. But you know what? Every year we hear this and every year people always say this year is gonna save. This is what's gonna save Call of Duty. And today the topic is quite interesting. You see people on the right, they're asking for new content. Like the video if you think this game should get new content. Dislike the video if you don't want new content. I want to know where you at and on the left people are saying bro. We just want remaster maps We just want remaster maps. We want remaster maps. So yeah Brothers are beefing right now. Everybody's beefing and we're gonna get right into it roll it. So, as I reported in a recent video over at Treyarch last week and within the Black Ops 6 Direct, it was confirmed we're going to be getting 16 original multiplayer maps day one. Now, that will include 12 6v6 maps and 4 strike maps. Here's something I can't uh -huh. exactly uh -huh. remember correctly, but if I can find more information about this, Damn. I'll put it on screen. Uh, bro, stop beating your meat, bro. That's the, that's why you're, you're not able to recognize what's going on that's why you constantly forget stuff. So you guys can see i believe during the trailer q a they did show us all 12 6v6 maps in a bit of a slideshow whereas yeah. they also went ahead and showed us the four strike maps we're going to be getting day one now if i'm not mistaken i believe three of the four strike maps were visible with clear names and all but uh -huh. there was one map that was redacted i can't remember if this was a i just hope that now initially they said 16 maps and yes we're getting 16 maps but at least four of them are gonna be non 6v6 i guess or perhaps those are gonna be smaller maps and later on they can add 6v6 which i i would absolutely love that for them to do it yeah uh, we, we need some smaller maps too right i feel like that they also should make new memorable maps like nuketown nuketown is coming back that's awesome but does nuketown takes one slot out of those 12 maps that i'm not sure and if that's gonna take place uh and slot away that means that we're gonna have 11 new maps but now we're finding out that there are gonna be more remaster maps Bruh. so does that mean that we're gonna be like getting what like four remaster maps so now we're down to eight new maps i guess <laughs> Uh, yeah, right, maybe. Let's find out. Maybe not. Separate map from the four strike ones, or was this the fourth strike map we're going to be seeing day one? And that's the map that we talked about in my recent video going over Black Ops 6's version of Nuketown. I believe the redacted map for strike, which is obviously the 2v2 small map kind of experience, yeah. I believe that was our first look at the new Black Ops 6 Nuketown. Now, we got to see what appeared to be this sandy dune type of crazy dusty environment over what appeared to be the the classic nuketown layout that we all yeah. know i believe yeah, we saw yeah. a glimpse of a greenhouse maybe even a pinch of a yellow one so everyone mm -hmm. in the trailer q a room was like oh wait that's nuketown so we all came to a conclusion that they showed us our first glimpse of nuketown during that presentation and then during the black ops 6 direct live stream one of the monitors that was shown did give us our look at nuketown yeah. <laughs> being loaded into for black ops 6 yeah like seconds were really really quick because you guys gotta understand that we didn't get this as a screenshot basically in a video Video when they reveal Black Ops 6 during that a dev was like toying around with his controller and all of a sudden this popped up on his monitor and people just zoomed in and took a screenshot and now we know Nuketown is coming in. Nuketown yeah like I love for them to always bring Nuketown back. Yeah Nuketown is such a good map it's Black Ops, Nukes, Nuketown is Black Ops, Black Ops is Nuketown so yeah this one understandable but I don't want like half of the game being remastered maps. Do you want half of the game being remastered maps? I, I wanna know where you at. Now listen, I would be the first guy to say remaster all the maps though. Hear me out though. Remaster all the maps from all the previous Call of Duty games. Shove it in, in a new Call of Duty game, but also make sure the new content is there where we got 16 new maps and then, you know, remaster maps are like bonus, a, a, a cherry on top, right? I, I wouldn't mind that. I would absolutely love for them to have Call of Duty Online. Somebody was making it, but they actually gangbanged that project because, yeah, they, they finally realized they find realize that nobody's going to buy their own game if they let a Call of Duty Online mod uh, be out. You remember the SM2? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Six, but for those saying oh that's probably a placeholder i get what you mean by that but i think there's no doubt in anybody's mind that nuketown is going to return within the new call of duty it's been in every trailer cod since what black ops one something weird was discovered though it looks like in the background of this placeholder menu or what could be close to a uh, beta build of the multiplayer menu you could see what appears to be nuketown 2025 kind of behind the characters so you can what? see it kind of vaguely or what? faintly in the background so I'm 
Run that back. Where? 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 Oh crap! Yo, right here. Oh shit! Yeah, I see it. You see the layout? It's like behind it. Yeah. I know what you're saying, but it could be um, mistook for something else. But I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Multiplayer menu. You see it kind of vaguely yeah. or faintly in the background so i'm gonna say that's probably another placeholder that isn't exactly a reflection of what the new nuketown is gonna be i highly doubt we're gonna see nuketown 2025 yeah, within yeah, black yeah. ops 6 that'll probably make more sense for let's say the cod coming out next year the one that's rumored a futuristic black ops Facts. game that takes place Facts. after the events of bo2 in the future that's when we can maybe see a remaster of that version of nuketown that'd be awesome by the way so i don't think we're gonna be seeing any type of nuketown that we've got in the past we're gonna be getting a new iteration uh, to be honest i wouldn't mind if they bring all the nuketown iterations back you know whenever nuketown comes up you have a voting system to pick which version of the nuketown you want you know what i mean especially when it's nuketown oh i wouldn't mind that like the video if you agree of it for black ops 6 and i'll leave that video down below in the comments for those that missed it what else? but what one else? thing i want to point out that i also didn't mention in that nuketown video is that if nuketown is a quote-unquote strike map for bo6 does that mean it's a streakless experience if you guys are unfamiliar with face-off, that's the ability to play 2v2, 3v3, and even 6v6 on some smaller maps. We had this game mode in Black Ops Cold War, and with it returning in Black Ops 6, does that mean that Nuketown will be a streakless type of experience then if it's considered a strike map? I honestly don't think that's going to be the case. I just feel like if they bring back a mode like Gunfight or just any 2v2 experience, they're probably just going to let you play whatever that is on Nuketown, but there will still be traditional 6v6 also playable on nuketown it just wouldn't make sense to take away streaks on that yeah, classic like, map bruh. hopefully that's clear but on top of nuketown what about some other iconic experiences like firing range oh, jungle man. summit hey just the back in black maps in general i would not mind if they bring these maps back but like bruh brother please like i don't want them to take like okay so you got 16 maps and now we're finding out that four of them are gonna be strike maps so now we're left with 12 maps. Nuketown is coming back, but we're not sure if it's going to take slot away or not. But let's assume that it's going to like, like, listen, Activision is not that nice, guys. Come on, man. They're not that nice. So it's probably going to take a slot away. So now we're down to 11 maps, 11 maps. And if we get back, uh, what, what's the name? Back in, ba uh, back in black classic maps, then these seconds is going to take four maps, four slots. So does that mean that we're going to be left with seven new maps? <laughs> What are we talking about? What are we talking about? What happened to 16 new maps? What happened to 16 new maps? If they if they do that, bro, that would be crazy, man. That would be crazy, bro. We've seen those maps brought back in just about every recent Treyarch title, minus one or two here and there, but we've seen a lot of those iconic fan favorite Black Ops maps brought in different ways throughout Treyarch's recent games. So what are the odds they also bring those maps into Black Ops 6? And what about some BO2 maps like Slums, Hijack, Standoff? the usual bangers right we'll circle back to bo2 maps in just a bit but i still think like i said before on a recent podcast there are so many black ops 1 multiplayer maps that deserve some type of reimagining remaster i, I just say remaster all the call of duty maps and put it in the game as uh, remaster maps right but also make sure the new content is there the new maps are there and to be honest, if they're gonna do that, like, they should not drop all the remaster maps all at once. They should actually put it in chunks, like, every two weeks, kind of, or every month. They drop it not all together, but hey, this is just, like, a wish list kind of thing. I, I know, like, that's not realistic. They're not gonna do it. But but I guess, like, eventually in the future, I wouldn't mind a Call of Duty game that's, like, Call of Duty Online with all the maps from previous Call of Duty games put in, all the zombie maps as well from Infinity Tard, from Sledgehammer My Balls, and Treyarch as well, right? Right? like all the zombie maps like the video if you agree uh, I, I think that would be honestly very very sick and they had call of duty i, I guess it's still ongoing I, I don't hear much about it anymore but call of duty online was a thing but on pc but in china only right not sure if it's still ongoing or not Anybody knows? remake whatever term you want to give that i think there's a lot of maps from even bo3 bo4 they could also be redesigned to fit with a game like bo6 will be crazy cool to see how Treyarch can bring some of those maps to the 90s we'll love to see some different maps get remade for once but i think Kohler did a great job of bringing in the usual maps you'd expect along with some others that i think really deserve some time in the spotlight that never got a remake before like drive-in like zoo those are maps that played incredibly well with the cold war ecosystem so i can't even imagine how 
how any classic Black Ops map will end up playing with new omnidirectional movement. Now, I also want to add that both Firing Range and Summit were excluded from Cold War's set of remastered maps. There were strong rumors that both of those maps were going to be added in, especially during Year 2, but the maps never came. During Year 2, we still got, I believe it was Jungle, and the other map was WMD. Still fantastic maps nonetheless, but I believe Summit was even a part of the scrapped Ural Mountains Blackout 2 experience, and the yeah. region that would have had Summit also never came to Fireteam. Man, it is crazy that we're talking about remaster maps in a new game. <laughs> Let these seconds make a new game, bro. Like, they have four years. They had four years to make this game. Can we just get new content? Can we just get new content? But don't forget about a map like Grid, for example. That was with Induga. So I was hoping we would also end up seeing a 6v6 version. Wait, what? Booba? Do you say Booba? For example, that was with Induga. So oh, Duga, I was hoping okay, we would bad. also end up my seeing bad. a 6v6 version of my that bad. added to Cold War MP. That also never saw a light of my day. Bad. But yeah, I do think those are probably strong candidates to come straight away within Black Ops 6, especially if they were at one point worked on for Black Ops Cold War. Now let's take a look at the current Call of Duty for a second. And, War and already the map that we just saw like here in the trench, it don't they look were that good. at one point worked on for Black it, it don't look that good, bro. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Like, does this map look good? It, it makes me feel like that. I, I'm playing Call of Duty World War II from Sledgehammer My Balls. Right, right, right? Oh, man. I hope the maps are good. I hope the new maps that they're making, I hope they're good, bro. Like, Trick is usually pretty good with the maps. Usually, right? Not always. That's the key word. No, Black Ops Cold War. Now let's take a look at the current Call of Duty for a second, Modern Warfare 3. The game released with 16 remastered multiplayer maps day one. It's the catalog of MW2 2009. So essentially, every map at launch was a remake. Now, if you guys didn't play MW209, then great. Every single map is completely original to you. You have no idea how they may have played well over a decade ago. But for those that did play those maps all the way back in 09, and maybe you weren't a fan of them, you had to wait until season one and then even season two to get a nice plethora of original experiences within multiplayer. Now, it looks like what Modern Warfare 3 has been doing, at least for the most part across four seasons, is they focus completely on original six feet six spaces <sighs> no no way no way oh my god that oh is my crazy god. oh my god crazy a new game getting new or a game that they call it new it's spoiler alert it was not a new game right a game that they call it new finally getting new maps wow that is crazy crazy within multiplayer. There's been a couple of remakes here and there. You had one for DOS House, and then we had Stash House, which is a reimagining of that one map from Vanguard. You have a couple of remakes here and there, but very few in comparison to actual original maps, and I wonder if that's the model we'll end up going with for future CODs that may launch with remakes. Black Ops 6 isn't gonna have 16 remasters day one, but since that's not the case, maybe that means we'll get more remakes than what MW3 has offered much more quickly, especially starting with like late season one or early season two. Now, Cold War didn't have an outrageous number of remakes. There were also <laughs> some fantastic and original experiences that I think really did enhance that game's multi. Yeah, it is Joel, man. I love the homie DK. DK, if you're watching, love you, homie. But like, come on, man. Like, damn, man. Can we get new content? Can we get new content? Can we get new maps, bro? What? Like, damn. Yeah, I, yeah. This is why I was saying, like, suckers are beefing right now. Everybody beefing. People on the right wanting new maps. Yeah, you can put me here. I, I'm listen, and I'm not against the 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 people on the left here either. Yeah, people on the left want remaster maps. I'm like, I'm saying new maps first of all. New maps, new content should be given a priority, and then you can have remaster maps as a bonus as a cherry on top bruh like the video if you agree like I i'm not saying that no remaster maps at all i'm just saying like hey new game new maps after that you can do remaster you feel i'm saying player the remakes are just a nice bonus so i'm guessing trick wound up doing a great balance of original and remade maps within oh, what did he say new maps for a bonus oh please please i think i misheard Original experiences that I think really did enhance that game's multiplayer. The remakes were just a nice bonus. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing Trick. Oh, okay, okay. I, I thought he said that the new content in a game was a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, it feels like that. The new content, new content is always, always just feel like bonus content, man. And remaster mask, 
Real crap. That's Earth 1 the real doing map. a great balance real of maps. original and remade maps within BO6 multiplayer. Now, I'm also curious what your thoughts are on reimaginings versus what you could call remakes or remasters. Now, I want to say it's probably time to go back to those reimaginings as we saw in games like BO2 and 3, where you take a fan favorite <laughs> environment and you just change the aesthetic, change the scenery, change the storyline of what the map is, even if it has the same exact layout as a map like Firing Range, for example. We had a version called Studio in BO2. What about Badass Raid from BO2? It came back as Empire in BO3. I think it's really time to get back to that style of remake for multiplayer maps because I think at a certain point in the next few years or sooner, it'll get a bit too repetitive where we're just getting those one-to-one -one remasters that we had well over. Okay, in the next few years, it's gonna get repetitive. What about now, bro? It is already repetitive though. Every game we get so much remastered crap. So, okay, it, it, they should do it because uh, in the next few years, it's going to get repetitive. So how many games can we get remastered maps like that, bro? How many? One, two, three, four, maybe five. Okay, yeah, after four years, it's going to be like few years, right? Oh, yeah, right, right. Man, come on, bro. Like, we should get like new content first, bro over a decade ago. For some reason, ever since Black Ops 4, we stopped seeing maps like this. I'm not sure what changed or what data Activision has that says, hey, it's better to just do one-to-one -one remasters. Maybe there's no reason at all. Lazy. That's their data. Laziness. They're like, hey, why make it? Why make it, bro? Like, <laughs> who cares, bro? Sick is still gonna buy it. Sick is still gonna buy it. And guys, uh, check out this video on the screen because we got our very first look at Nuketown. If you already seen that uh, that video about Nuketown that's coming in Black Ops 6, then check out the video on the left because we got some real drama about Dr. Disrespect, though. Check it out and I'll see you there.